Hello everyone, my name is Gus. Hi, I'm Woody. Today we have a short compilation of videos. And I chose these videos specifically because it demonstrates the benefit of having proper trim and kicking techniques when it comes to diving and snorkeling and everything else in the water. Wait. Okay. And even swimming, by the way, regular yeah. swimming. One of the questions that we get the most <clears throat> when we tackle these topics is people asking, so what? So what if I'm vertical? So what if I'm not in proper trim? So what if I don't do the perfect kits, kicks? Who cares? It's still scuba diving. Is it though? Well, there's a lot of so what there. It's, you know what I mean? There's a lot of reasons why we want to be in good trim and have efficient kicks. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's too long to discuss in this intro. There's so much to that. It's Scuba diving isn't just going underwater, breathing, and being out of control. But let's see what you're talking about, and maybe we can comment on it as it goes. And I think before we start the video, it's a short one. I think that people can see on the video we did a couple of weeks ago for the free diver that dives around the world and how efficient he was moving through the water mm. in perfect trim. You can see a comparison with the three divers that we're about to see. Well, two divers, and you're about to see uh, what's going on. But again, three short videos. It's a compilation. Let's go. I, I, I'm already, I've never seen this and I'm, okay, what is, I'm pausing. <laughs> what? <laughs> is this person with an instructor? Well, we're about to find out. Okay, because they're really hurting that person that is bicycle kicking and moving their arms all over. Right. So the first reason of so what is you're going to blow through all your air. You're going to get nowhere doing that bicycle kicking and you could potentially damage the environment. That's so what number one. Look how they, how much she's moving through the water doing this. It's not going to work. It's kicking. Oh, wait a minute. Look, oh, here's the instructor. Say woohoo. Bump fist. For what? Why uh, are you uh, fist I get it. Look, I mean, they were having fun and I, I hear everybody what? and all that, but man, you can't. You got to help this person. And, oh my god it's okay to be like this at the beginning but somebody needs to tell you and inform you right so i'm not i i don't want to make fun of this person no we're not i want to i just want to help he them fist bumping her just we want to help them give her some instruction that's all she doesn't know there's nothing wrong with her she's bad doing look at the instructor standing at the bottom like no big no, deal. he's blowing bubbles now like, oh, yeah, let good, me show it you. does a good job at that, by the way. Let it's me good show you how to throw. Is he standing, rings. by the way? Yes. Standing in so, the bottom of the ocean. So guys, you just can't. You're just. So look, I mean, you know what? Let's say something goes really bad, and that woman has to be on her own, and she has to get somewhere. I mean, she can't kick. You have She's your body. Blow through her air. I don't think she could multitask. No. And what I, I think I'm not making fun of her. That's the whole thing that I'm trying to say here. Right. She doesn't know. If you're going to be an instructor, give her value. She paid you to teach her. Teach her how to be in good trim. And the whole dive for her will be more relaxing. Way better. She'll see more. She'll feel better. Air Just consumption. Air consumption. It's going to totally. lower because you're not struggling. Um, but the other thing I wanted to mention is that people, I can tell already watching this are already upset because we're like criticizing someone who's clearly brand new at diving. And I'm right? not really doing that. Right. Even though we're not doing that, they, they don't agree with what you're saying and okay. what you're thinking. This next one though, is someone who appears to have tech diving, uh, training, okay. someone who in order to get to tech diver, you have to have some experience. As a diver, so this is not a brand new diver. And now we're about to find out what happens when you have proper and improper kicking techniques as a tech diver. Okay, but we were beginner tech divers at one point. Sure. We also had to go through many adjustments. Mm -hmm. My tank was sticking straight up in the air. I, my trim wasn't good. Yeah. Um, I struggled to get reels off. 
uh, gauges were sticking up in the wrong place. So just remember that when you when we're talking about it, that it's okay not to be good. There's nothing wrong with that. But it what we struggle here on Dive Talk is it's not okay if you just will argue that 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 that's it. I'm the ultimate when you're not and not acknowledge that there's more to learn. Mm. I think that's where you and I struggle and we agree. We, we very much agree. It's like, okay, you know, teach me. I know I'm not there. I'm looking right. at the video of myself. If Ed shows us a video, like we're not going to be like, no, Ed, no, you're wrong. Look, that is okay that that's I'm perfect. like this and my tank's sticking up in the air and my yeah. reel's flying all over. That's what we don't do. Mm -hmm. And you, you see the difference, everybody out there. So I want to put that out there that we're not making fun of this person, no. but they were pointing out what is the next level. What do they need to learn? Okay. Sight mountain diver. So kicks immediately are a problem. Those are like, brutal. How much training does this guy have? Assuming he's certified sight mount. And nobody spotted this? Yeah. And and you could just see, right, everybody logically that the fins don't work if you're bicycle kicking. You're not using the power of the fin unless you've got straight legs. You don't, have, you don't have to frog kick. But if you want the fin as it's designed to work, you can't be pushing the bottom. If this is the fin and it's in this direction, it's pushing water this way, you're not going to go anywhere. But if you turn it, obviously... Now you've got the full power of the fin to push you. It's right. shaped like a fin of a marine life. Yeah. So that's why. But then uh, the good news is that there's places in the world where you don't even need training or learning how to kick or certifications of any kind to go scuba diving. Like in this case, I think this was in Mexico. See what you think, what you think about this one. Oh, no, it's not Mexico. It's somewhere in the Mediterranean, I guess. So this is the new what? dive guide. Is this skydiving tandem? Tandem scuba diving. With <laughs> what is, does she have anything on her at all other than a bathing suit and a regulator? <laughs> no, that's it. Yeah, and a mask. This, is, this is. Look at this. Now, how is this legal? Let me stop it. What, what does, what, from those of you who have watched Dive Talk, what do you think, logically speaking, is the single most dangerous part of what they're doing right there? I, and I'm going to give a hint. If the regulator gets yanked out of her mouth because for some reason this guy lets go of this person for even one split second. Right. At that point, what is she doing? Drowning. She's holding her breath. Yeah. You think she's going to bolt to the surface holding her breath? Immediately. Think she, or do you think she's, based on this, do you think she's like, oh, yeah, the, the, I remember in blow my bubbles. training, I should blow bubbles and make an emergency what swimming training? ascent, which I don't have any fins on. So there's, what no, training? there's no ability to go anywhere anyway. Right. This is a death sentence if she has any problem whatsoever. So don't yell at us for saying, oh, she's just having fun. I don't, I want her to have fun safely. Yeah. Because if that gets yanked out of her mouth and she goes to the surface and holds her breath, she's going to be dead. That's right. Look at this. It's like, let's just go dive down to 50 feet or whatever. I'm surprised they even posted it. This, this, how is this allowed? How, how is this a thing? I don't know what dive agency he's an instructor in, but he violated every standard. <laughs> Just take page one through 200 of the standards. Violation. All of them. Just write violation on every page. <laughs> Who does that? That's total nonsense. That's th Would we rate that as maybe the worst so far <laughs> of the 300 plus videos that we have? Could be. Actually, I think so. Yeah. This could not, be number one. This I'm could sure. be the new number one most single Die violation ever. I'm sure that our people watching this will be like, but guys, live a little. She was totally safe. She, you I'm saw not going to agree with them just because they're going <laughs> to yell at me on Dive Talk. That's a death sentence. Unbelievable. We did, though, react to videos that are similar to this one, like the guy who was like with a leash. Remember? Another diver. At least that guy had a tank. This and is regulators. Worse. This is I worse. remember the leash guy. This is The worse. leash guy was ridiculous. He's second.
but this is number one. <laughs> if you're interested in seeing the second most absurd things you've ever seen scuba diving, click on the video right here. It makes no sense. What are you doing? Thanks for watching Dive Absurdity today. Get off the leash.